Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about vanilla perfumes. So I wanted to make a video about the most vanilla-centric perfumes I've tried, and I'm gonna be letting you know which ones I think are worth it and which ones you can go without. By the way, I am a huge fan of vanilla perfumes, and I feel like I'm consistently looking for the best vanilla perfume that money can buy. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so if you've seen some of my other videos, this may not come as a surprise. The first perfume I want to mention is Kaali Vanilla 28. And I absolutely love this perfume. This to me is a 10 out of 10 classic vanilla scent that you can layer with almost anything. When I'm in the mood to smell like vanilla, I really want to smell like vanilla. And even though vanilla is a common note, it's kind of hard to find vanilla-centric perfumes that their main focus is vanilla. And Kaali just really nailed it with this perfume. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. So this perfume is really, really sweet. It's almost syrupy sweet. It smells like dark, rich vanilla and brown sugar. I'll go ahead and pull up the notes. The top notes are vanilla orchid and jasmine. The middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean. And the base notes are amber, amberwood, musk, and patchouli. It's just a really sweet, girly vanilla. Anything I could ask for in a vanilla perfume. Like I said, this perfume layers really well, and the performance of this perfume is also really good in my opinion. It definitely lasts on my skin, and it definitely projects, and I get lots of compliments when I wear this. So if you're looking for a 10 out of 10 classic vanilla scent with great performance, then definitely check out Vanilla 28 from Kaali. I highly recommend this one. All right, and this next one I would describe as more of a soft and subtle vanilla scent. And this is Manifesto from YSL. Mm, and I absolutely love this scent. Let me spray it for you guys. So this one is just really smooth and nice and classy. It's a bit more powdery, fluffy. It has some white florals in here. It's just balanced really, really well, but again, the main note in here is vanilla. It almost has a hint of some spiciness, not too much, but it's mainly just a really gorgeous and smooth, powdery vanilla. And let me go ahead and pull up the notes. So the top notes are blackcurrant, bergamot, and green notes. The middle notes are jasmine sandback and lily of the valley, and the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and cedar. Another perfume with tonka bean in it. Tonka bean is definitely a note that I enjoy in fragrances. It just gives it more of that sweet, edible, gourmand vibe. And I just really, really like this one. I think it's so wearable, so versatile. You can wear this in the day, night, summer, winter. It'd be a great signature scent. I feel like it's not too popular or talked about these days, so even though it's a vanilla scent, it's still a little bit more unique because not everyone is wearing it. And I also see this as a little bit more sophisticated and classy than some of the other vanilla scents I'm gonna be talking about. So again, that is Manifesto from YSL. Okay, the next perfume I want to mention is my favorite summer vanilla, and this is Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil from Nest. This is a blend of vanilla, coconut, and a little bit of saltiness that gives it this beachy vibe. And I like that this one is an oil because it really sinks into your skin and moisturizes your skin. And because of that, it lasts throughout the day really well. I've been really surprised by how much this perfume projects and how much people around me can smell me. And I'll just say when I first purchased this, I obviously liked it. I was looking for more like classic true vanilla scents. And I liked it, but I didn't think there was much special about it. It doesn't smell super unique, but it is a really luxurious, creamy, sweet coconut vanilla. 
and I feel like this is just the perfect hot weather beach day scent that you don't even have to think about. You just apply it to your wrists, behind your neck, put on a really nice lotion, you go to the beach and you just smell heavenly. As far as the notes go, the top note is vanilla bean, the middle note is vanilla orchid, and the base note is coconut. And even though there's no salt note, I'm gonna add salt because there's a little bit of saltiness to it that reminds me of the beach. Highly recommend checking this one out if you love coconut and vanilla. Again, this is Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. Okay, next vanilla scent I wanna talk about is from The Seven Virtues, and this is Vanilla Woods. I feel like this one is pretty well known by now. This is a popular clean brand at Sephora. This one I kind of have mixed feelings on. When I first reviewed this, I think I liked it a little bit more than I do now because testing it out, there is a note I get in here that I find a little bit difficult and that's why I haven't gone to purchase a bottle of this. But that being said, there are some things that I really do like about this scent. So I don't know. Okay, so this is more of a dessert like vanilla. It smells like caramelized pear with vanilla ice cream. The vanilla does come through. It is a nice vanilla in here. There's got to be a green note in here or something. I'm going to pull up the notes now. Let's see. No green note. The top note is pear, the middle note is rose, and the base notes are vanilla, caramel, and amber. I don't know, it almost smells like there's a green note or something that just doesn't mix with the sweetness of the perfume. It's almost a little bit smoky and maybe that's what I'm not vibing with. For me, it's not a total hit or miss. It's not one that I see myself purchasing for myself. Again, that is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. Okay, the next perfume is from Juliet Has a Gun, and I love a lot of the Juliet Has a Gun perfumes. This one is called Vanilla Vibes. Again, I've briefly talked about this on my channel before, but I have gotten more of a chance to test this one out on my skin. Mmm. Okay, so this is another one that I have a little bit of a love and hate relationship because when I first smell this, I get a whiff of like vanilla rum. And I love scents that smell boozy like that, and I like the kind of vanilla that's in here. And there's some salt in here too. This is definitely another beachy vanilla, similar to Madagascar vanilla from Nest. But this one is a lot more salty, and there's some marine notes in here as well. The top note is salt. The middle note is Vanilla Absolute and Orchid, and the base notes are Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, Musk, and Benzoin. I almost feel like there's another note that isn't listed on Fragrantica, because there's definitely some kind of marine green note in here, like seaweed. As much as I love the opening of this perfume and that rich vanilla and the saltiness, like the more I smell it, the more I get this whiff of seaweed and I don't love that on myself. But that being said, I think there's people who love the scent of the ocean and they love that kind of aquatic marine vibe. And if that's you, I definitely do recommend this because there are a lot of things that I love about this perfume. It's just that seaweed smell that I can't get behind and that's why I haven't purchased this perfume myself. But again, that is Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. All right, the next perfume I want to mention is from Skylar, and this is Vanilla Sky. So this one I really, really like the scent of. This is warm, ambery. It's the perfect vanilla in here. I get a little bit of cinnamon and holiday spices, and I think this one is really, really homey. I absolutely love the scent. The only thing about this perfume is it does not last on my skin. And I want to know if I'm the only one or if other people have that issue with this perfume too. This one's already disappearing. It kind of reminds me of a Bath and Body Works vanilla because it smells really good when you spray it and then it disappears. But even some Bath and Body Works perfumes last a little bit longer. Again, this is Vanilla Sky from Skylar. 
And that brings me to my last vanilla perfume I'm going to be mentioning today. And this is Tobacco Toscano from Santa Maria Novella. This is a perfume that I haven't heard anyone on perfume YouTube talk about, but I really do love this scent. I discovered this when I went to a physical Santa Maria Novella store, and I told the guy there that I love vanilla, and he showed this to me. This is more of a sophisticated tobacco amber vanilla, but it's blended really, really well and I don't necessarily love the scent of tobacco, but in this perfume I do. So let's spray it. So for me, this is a really nice going out scent. It's definitely more appropriate for nighttime. And what this reminds me of is actually Jazz Club by Replica, which I absolutely love the scent of Jazz Club, but I cannot see myself wearing it. For me, it's just a little bit too much. And I even like boozy scents, but it's almost a little bit too boozy for me. Whereas this is a little bit more subdued. It's easier to wear. It's blended really well so that if someone didn't tell you there was tobacco in there, you wouldn't necessarily pick it up. It's just so nice. It's a little, a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. My boyfriend doesn't like spicy perfumes, but he does really love this one. But the top notes are bergamot and jasmine. The middle notes are tobacco and birch leaf. And the base notes are vanilla, amber, and malt. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit of woodiness to it. The warmth of the amber is very present. And the nice thing about this perfume is I literally never hear people talking about it. So if you want something that's not as popular, that you're gonna smell a little bit more unique, I would check this one out. Again, that is Tobacco Toscano from Santa Maria Novella. So those are all the vanilla perfumes I have to share with you guys today. Like I said, I'm always on the lookout for new vanilla perfumes, so please leave me your recommendations in the comments. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!